impossible in my life. Inside and outside, lift up your hands, wave to the King of Kings. So Lord, do the impossible. manifestations of the spirit lift up your hands and say father do the impossible for with god all things are possible go ahead and worship him let faith rise in your spirit forget about your challenges lift up your eyes oh yes he's in this place there's faith in this place Praise to do the impossible. Ashaka ba 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 ba. Ne para na bossa na 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 ma ya na na na. Se paria na bossa ba 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 ba. Sicknesses, cancers, tumors, blindness, lameness, poverty, oppression, fear, lack, defeat, delay. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Let faith rise tonight. Jesus is in this place, inside and outside. Mighty presence is in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Yes, you will do mighty things. Do the impossible. Thank you. Hallelujah. I challenge you tonight. Let faith rise. God will shock you this night. Are you listening to me? I'm not trying to motivate you. God will surprise you beyond your imagination. There's, there's, there's no discussion with your challenges tonight. Are you listening to me? There's no round table discussion. We are not here tonight for discussion. For light shines. Oh, his presence is mighty in this place. His presence is mighty. You see the angels of God inside and outside. Angels of God. I see angels, manifestations of angels already. Strange order of angelic activities. Makaposa Pariada. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Everywhere, inside and outside. Strange operation. Of the angelic Pakopa Reke Pariadai Tatabasete Pariatai Enkrotoso Tobariere Revosa Makaboro Sopai No discussion tonight I glorify your name Listen In all the earth In all the earth I glorify your name in all the earth. As I raise this song, oh, oh. the power of God is already moving. I glorify your name in all the earth. In all the earth. I glorify your name in all the earth, in all the earth. I glorify, I glorify come on, lift your hands.
Shaka. Come on, glorify him. I glorify. Give hey. him praise By for his name. mighty presence. In all the earth. Mighty presence in this place. To heal and to deliver. I don't care what the challenge is. I don't care what the sickness is. His presence is in this place. Kapariega paresa tala bado shekete mande grande kapareshi la bosa katala banda where the word of the king is there is power katala bando la bosa katala banda hey katala bosa come to your rescue bosa katala ipara bosa tala bregedonda la bosa I katako satale ba dore de bosha. She karabo satale ba nara ra ba kosa. I katato satala ba holy one. E barabo sata. In all the years we worship. Shata na ba kosa sa se peke de. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, you are in for an experience that will change your life tonight. I like you to believe it. You're in for an experience. That will transform your life tonight. It's called a miracle service. That's exactly what is going to happen. The Lord Himself will be stepping in to change impossible situations. You will watch right before your eyes. Mountains crumble at the presence of the majestic one. The Bible says the mountains keep like. I magnify your name in all the earth, in all the earth. I glorify your name. I glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. In all the earth. In all the earth. Yeah. I glorify, I glorify, glorify your name, your name. In, in all the earth, in all the earth, in all the earth. Sing, I magnify your name. I see several chains in the spirit. Hear me? Inside and outside. And at the count of seven, I already see a well-winged fire. At the count of seven, chains will begin to be broken. Please, ushers, get ready and bring those people out. At the count of seven, instrumentalists, walk with me. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hallelujah. But when you shout Jesus, this is the instruction the Holy Ghost is giving me. We are going to shout the name of Jesus just three times. Hallelujah. I see the hands of many people bound. I see chains. It looks silvery. Bound. Let's just flow with what the Spirit is doing. Jesus, three times, especially for those of you outside. Satan is in trouble tonight. I told you there's no discussion tonight. It's no discussion. Hallelujah. Inside and outside. We're going to shout Jesus three times. At the third shout, there will be such an invasion of the Holy Spirit. Chains will be broken. Are you ready? Shout it once. Jesus! Hallelujah. Are you ready? Let's shout the second time. Jesus! Oh! Hallelujah. Now get set for the last shout, especially for those of you outside. Satan, you are in trouble. Hey, Satan, you are in trouble. The name that is above all names. The name that is above all names. That is above all names. Shout it one more time. Jesus! I don't know why I'm saying Chains are being loosed. Chains are being loosed. Especially outside. Say, 
Jao Sada, Shekato Dalakatone Brigadia, a repose Satan Brigadon Satan Brigadia, a Shata Satan Abaka Satan Brigadia Satan Abrakatos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60. Just lift your Bible. Isaiah 61, sorry. Isaiah 61. Now, Satan, I speak to you. Let this lady go right now. I command, I see movements around your stomach. I command that demonic influence over you to be broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, an opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto those who mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord and then it ends with a dangerous statement said that he might be glorified that means in these things he will be glorified this is how he is glorified when the sick are healed when the captives are free when the garment of praise is given for the spirit of heaviness then he is glorified he said God is doing all of these things not just because your name is Joshua he's doing it that he might be glorified that's why we are singing that song I glorify your name so when we sing it he begins to heal he begins to bless so that he will be glorified the spirit of God is in this place tonight and I see different kinds of sicknesses and challenges but I need you to know that God is going to surprise you tonight the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Listen to me. Jesus was speaking to the disciples in John chapter 10 and verse 10. He said, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Say after me, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief comes to steal. Satan has always been in the ministry of destroying men. You can look at a life and know whether or not Satan has passed through that life. When Satan passes through a life, he leaves that life with sickness, oppression, poverty, all kinds of trauma. And our society is full of men and women who are living in fear, in bondage, in poverty. He said, the thief cometh not. Every time you see him in an environment, he steals all the blessings that the Lord has apportioned for his people. He kills. He destroys. When Satan steps into a family, it doesn't matter how hard working they are. He wrecks that family, wrecks everyone in that family. But the Bible says in Obadiah 21, it says, and saviors shall arise from out of Zion it says and they shall judge the mount of Esau the saviors shall arise 
men and women who are filled with the spirit of the living God and let me tell you something any gospel that cannot bring people from out of bondage are you listening to me from out of sickness from out of poverty from out of failure and defeat and bring them to a point where they represent the exact counsel of God that gospel is dead is just religion and is powerless we are sick and tired of powerless gospels and motivations he said when I came to you I did not come with the excellency of speech but in the demonstration of power that your faith might not be upon um, the wisdom of man but upon the power of God we live in a world where people are oppressed real oppression there are many of us represented here right now that our families are suffering so much the economic hardship and economic depression is telling so much on people sickness everywhere and the hospitals are doing their best but they are coming to a point where they are acknowledging the fact that there is only so much they can do there's got to be a voice that will arise there's got to be a generation that will say there is a solution otherwise our praying in tongues makes no relevance to the people in the world until they see the manifestation of the power of God that HIV is broken and it bows that cancer and sickness dies that deafness and lameness goes that a deformed heart is not just healed but a creative one a new one comes we are not talking of healing we are talking of a brand new one why will you need a, a healing of your heart when you can get a new one hallelujah that oppression from demons will live and will go genotypes changed when john the baptist said go and ask jesus is he the messiah jesus said go and tell him the blind see the deaf hear the cripples are walking that means this is the manifestation of the kingdom hallelujah and before we begin tonight i want to encourage you everyone listen please you have a responsibility to play the responsibility is that you must believe god the bible says he that cometh unto god must believe that he is hallelujah now it's not the time to sit down and wonder and say can god the bible says they limited god by saying can god make a way in the wilderness now it's not the time to watch other people and just wish now is the time to confront and to conquer and to say this sickness you're leaving me once and for all i don't care the stories they gave you around it now it's not the time to bring out your medical report and keep admiring it tonight is the time where you get angry the bible says woe unto them who are at ease in zion there are many of us who are oppressed by satan in us our, our lives and our families this is the time where you challenge yourself and say lord in this miracle service i'm ready to chart a new course there's no moving forward and coming backward no can i tell you something about satan he hates me very much for this but let me tell you satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance and disobedience permits him to be are you listening to me satan is only as powerful to the degree that your ignorance in the word of god or your disobedience to applying the principles that bring the blessings permit him but jesus said i saw satan fall like lightning you see i didn't say i am seeing him falling i saw it it's past he has fallen hallelujah and so you must believe god tonight many of us are carrying requests some of them absolutely impossible situations 
but can you take your eyes off those things and say lord i know i know that you are able many of us have gone to the hospital again and again and again and again and the doctors have said you would live with this i've shared my testimony again and again i had a fungal infection that affected me for a great portion of my life there was no hospital i didn't go to no kind of medication everything didn't work and god healed me by the power of his spirit so i know that miracles exist take away that religious spirit and those demonic teachings that many have indoctrinated people with that the era of miracles have passed because the faith life is a miraculous life you've got to take away that mentality and say lord i believe don't just wish and say lord if you want that's a demonic teaching for it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom get angry with poverty get angry with your family members begging and crying from hand to mouth moving up and down when you get dissatisfied in your spirit then you are ready to receive a miracle get ready to act upon the word when you hear the word and you receive the word you receive it into your spirit and enforce it by faith hallelujah this is why you came tonight i prayed a prayer and i told god i said lord we don't just want a few people five six seven people receiving miracles and breakthroughs in their lives if that's all we get tonight we are failed for every time the waters is being stirred whoever jumps into it and can i tell you something the waters is no longer stirred once it's stirred as much as your faith will want it to be stirred i have my requests that are put before god and i'm coming here very seriously to take the things that god has apportioned for me are you listening to me and so i'm challenging everyone inside and outside you've got to connect open up your spirit now it's not the time to be distracted let me tell you something one encounter tonight can change your life forever are you listening to me meetings like this are very prophetic and are very sensitive one encounter from god can change your life forever one encounter with his anointing can set you free of any kind of terminal disease lose concentration away from satan forget about satan satan is not the issue tonight your faith connecting and let me challenge you do not allow satan deceive you and lie to you and say you are so bad and your life is so terrible you cannot receive a miracle everybody jesus healed in the bible was not born again he didn't heal one person who was born again because the holy spirit had not come upon them but like blind Bartimaeus, if you can say thou son of david have mercy upon me tonight you will experience the power and the glory of god god is going to be doing some dramatic things in this place and i'm encouraging every one of you to open up your spirit so that you will not just waste your time and you'll not just be a ceremony that you came for miracle service it's not a name it's an experience are you listening to me where god upgrades your life and takes you to a point where your life is nothing short of beauty and glory hallelujah his presence is in this place strong and mighty to heal to deliver to transform to set free the thief cometh not jesus is not the author of sickness hear me you must convince yourself take away that devilish mindset that says god gave me the sickness to test me no if he gave you the sickness why are you here to be healed 
Jesus cannot bring sickness upon you to test you. The Bible says God is love. Hallelujah. So tonight you must take responsibility. I am SS because my family members are SS. No way. Make up your mind and take responsibility. And say Lord tonight I lay it once and for all. Not healed now. And then you are back into sickness. Many of us have suffered delays in our lives. When you look at your, you know that there are certain levels in life that you would have accomplished. Now is the time to place a demand and say, Lord, by the Spirit, you are taking me to that plane. Recovery, restoration. There are many of us that the Lord has spoken certain blessings to our lives that we are supposed to see, but we have not seen it. Now is the time to place a demand. And challenge the powers of Satan that there be a manifestation of those things that God has spoken there are many of our family members that have suffered so much suffered in their job places everything they lay their hands to do dies they start a business it dies everything it works for others but when it gets to your turn or that of your family members it dies From the beginning it was not so and tonight we are partnering with the holy spirit and believing that god will take us to that position listen challenge yourself that something about your life hear me challenge yourself that something about your life must change i'm trying to provoke you by the spirit so that you will know and realize that you can take this it's it's within your reach you must get angry enough get full of faith enough hallelujah listen don't leave this place tonight do not leave this place tonight without a tangible miracle for your life are you listening to me refuse it refuse it place a demand and say no way i'm not stepping out of this place with that sickness i'm not stepping out with that poverty an idea must come upon my spirit i'm not stepping at this level in the spirit i'm not living at this level of grace Lift up your voice and pray, inside and outside. Let us shake it and bring it out. Let us cry, even as we prepare the ground. Place a demand. Place a demand. Place a demand. Shut up, shut 
Hallelujah. Now listen. There's someone here you had a dream and you saw them hit piercing you. They put a spear as though to kill you. Who is that person? There's someone here. They trust a spear. Come quickly. But Satan cannot have a place over your life. The devil is a liar. There's no, there's, let me tell you something. Tonight is zero tolerance with Satan. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. When you get angry and get wild in your spirit, you will find out that Satan is not as strong. They trust you with a spare. Come out. They trust you with a spare. While you were sleeping, it was so real you woke up with the pains. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a lady. Um, your elder sister is. I'm seeing the number 34. I believe she's 34 years. They've been praying for her for her marriage. Who is that? 34 years. Your elder sister. 34 years they've been praying for her who is that person come exactly 34 years am i right that's her age they've been praying for her the lord says i should tell you that before the end of this year she's going to get married <laughs> write it and go and tell her don't even know her her age is exactly 34 years that before the end of this year i pray in the name of jesus christ that this word will find expression upon the heart of obedience in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. James. James. Hearing the name James. James. For I will uphold James. Who is James? Make sure you don't feel emotional about these words. If it's not, you go back to your seat. Your James, come. It says for i will uphold james that's what the lord says for i will uphold james for you have suffered many things but in this season the lord is going to be bringing great restoration look at me look at me only be a man of faith 
you have you love god but there is so much doubt in your heart i need you to know that god is more than able god is more than able to help you he's more than able to bring every word that he has spoken to your heart there are many things he wants to show you but you must learn to be away from people and stay with the spirit of god are you listening to me you must learn to be away from people and lord i pray in the name of jesus that there be great grace upon my brother i break away that spirit and that limitation of fear i break away that limitation that will not allow you to do the things that god wants you to do i break it away from your life even right now in the name of jesus christ come i see a lot of oppression in your family a lot of oppression in your family and that's what i see i'm going to pray for you right now and not only will god set you free he will set your family members free i see your mom and i hear the mom april she's supposed to go through a very very uncalled for a challenge that is uncalled for in the month of april but the lord sets her free tonight you believe that in the name of jesus i break the power of satan over your life right now in jesus name and even for your mother mm, the anointing of the spirit is strong upon you can you just hold my hands just touch make contact with my hands in the name of jesus be set free now by the power of the holy spirit for you and for your mother in the name of jesus i see a chain over your head living now let it go i command that chain go in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah come the lord says look at me that i should set you free from fear for there are many fears in your heart said the spirit of god he has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind hold my hands in the name of jesus can you hold it with both of your hands mm. hold it with both of your hands if you can the anointing of the spirit is flowing through you fear you are a demonic spirit i pray that you let this lady go in the name of jesus i take authority over fear in the name of jesus and jimmy the lord says i should prophesy to you that beginning from the month of march you are entering a fearful dimension of wealth and prosperity that's what the lord says i should tell you a fearful operation of wealth and prosperity fearful operation ideas will begin to come by the spirit calls calls for many people by the grace of god god will show you things from the month of march you are stepping into an unusual level of financial prosperity hallelujah call that lady abigail come i saw your eyes enlarging in the spirit i saw your eyes growing bigger i was wondering why and the lord says increase vision you will step into an unusual level of vision just look at me if you can just look at me as best as you can the power of god is so strong upon you increased unusual level of visions beginning right now the portals of heaven will be open to you i want you as much as you can just look at me there's fire leaving my eyes and entering me in the name of jesus an increased level of supernatural visions in the name of the lord jesus christ supernatural visions even by the power of the holy spirit you step into a great dimension of seeing seeing even by the spirit seeing even by the spirit come my brother look at me there is no other way there is no other way you can be blessed in this life outside of jesus christ are you listening to me there is no other way and if you do not trust him everything that you trust will fall and will crumble and you'll be left with nothing the lord calls you into a real relationship tonight and god says you should lay aside everything that is not him and begin to press for him in sincerity and truth do you understand this is what gives satan a foothold over your life hold my hands i pray for you right now 
that over those demonic dreams and manifestations of Satan now be free by the power of the Holy Ghost this comes out. a great vessel indeed for the Lord will use you 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 I see strong grace coming upon you the Lord will use you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit look at me free yourself from religion that's what the Lord says there are many revelations you have in your mind that is not producing results you have criticized too many things now is the time to begin to embrace the things of the Spirit that's what the Lord says Lord take him to that dimension that new realm of grace even by the power of God I erase the grip of religion over your life open up yourself and begin to receive of the fullness of the Spirit in the name of Jesus look at me for many people think you will not amount to anything but the spirit of god says i set you apart and you will become a great one even as the stone that has been rejected i will make you a great one are you listening to me i see a crown being put upon your head right now as i'm holding you father that you fulfill your word right now come 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 look at me look at me look at me see leave fear fear will not bring much to your life it will only put you in misery and forget about the things that people are saying god is separating you to use you are you listening to me there's one of your friend i see he has a mark the lord is saying leave him leave him love is a command relationship is not leave him are you listening to me and get serious with god god bless you look at me do you have an elder sister where is she she's married no no, no. i mean there's um do you have anyone staying in abuja abuja i see one of your people who is staying in abuja um the lord says hear what i say except the lord builds a house the laborers labor in vain the laborers labor in vain and that you tell them to commit their all unto god there's no giving god part and holding part are you listening to me God bless you. Rampia, please come. Run. For I see the Lord bringing real blessings to your family. Real blessings to your family. Um, the Lord is bringing a refreshing. Please put a little water in that cup and just give me. I want to do exactly what I'm seeing in the spirit the Lord says just a little he says he's bringing refreshing to your family and the Lord says this is there's no ritual around it before you package water tomorrow and start making madness out of it this is simple prophetic instruction go ahead and drink it finish it just do what I'm asking you to do the Lord says he's bringing a refreshing in exactly two minutes that water you have taken will become fire in your spirit and in your bones in exactly two minutes from now just hold on there it will become fire god will give you ideas by the spirit for was it not water that elijah poured upon the sacrifice that the fire came and licked it up there is nothing that is done that cannot be proven from scripture hallelujah in exactly two minutes said the lord it will become strong fire i see a formation of it already and i'm telling you the truth it will set you apart it will bring favor even to your younger sister that's what i'm seeing your younger sister your younger sister having this great fire thank you jesus christ mercy mercy a lady with the name mercy who are you mercy come you're also mercy Deborah, Deborah Maida, if she's here, the Lord says it's time for you to step up. Where is she? She's not around. Deborah Maida, it's time for you to enjoy the blessings. I'm seeing you holding a big bag and you are going to the farm to pick a lot of fruits. 
that's what god is showing me a very big bag humanly speaking it's not something you can carry but you need to pick the fruits they are falling from the tree i believe god is signifying a season that is time to enter into a lot of things yahweh 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 Yahweh, the Lord just said I should stretch my hands towards you. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. of oil. The Lord says He's Yahweh. called the oil of gladness. The oil of gladness Yahweh, being poured upon you. Have I not said Yahweh, God is no man's debtor? The Lord says He Yahweh, will repay you. I see oil being poured upon your head. Yahweh, That's what I'm seeing right now. Oil being poured Yahweh, upon your head. Your name is mercy. Your name is mercy. Look at me. Rise out of timidity. For great is your strength, said the Spirit of God. Rise out of timidity great is your strength i sense an anointing to change genotypes that's what i'm sensing right now please get set i sense an anointing to change don't take it for granted i sense an anointing to change genotypes i'm about to speak and prophesy the word of the lord right now in the name of jesus out of her that demonic spirit of fear you will not hide in her soul come out of her right now I set you free in the name of Jesus be free by the power of the Holy Ghost mercy listen find a community of believers you can be in and out find a real community of believers they will help your growth the Lord, I don't know what it is, but the Lord says I should tell you, I will show you mercy. I will show you mercy. Hold my hands. I will show you mercy. Please hold it with both of your hands if you can. I will show you mercy. That's what the Spirit of God says. Receive the mercy of the Lord. The mercy of the Lord coming like fragrance. I see like perfume upon you. The Lord says it's my mercy. The fragrance of the Lord upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ your name is mercy your name is mercy you will be a mother to many look at me look at me the Lord says I should tell you you will be a mother to many you will do things you never imagined that you could do you will do things you never imagined that you could do mercy The Lord says, I should tell you, you will speak over kings. You will speak over kingdoms. You will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hand. That's what the Lord says. A scepter is given. You will speak over kings. You will speak over kingdoms. You will speak over territories. A scepter is given upon your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Madam, please. I saw something coming like a balloon and then coming towards you and then I saw a sword while I was ministering I saw something like a sword and he just pierced it and it it went down and in my mind I was wondering I was I didn't really didn't understand and I kept quiet and then the Lord says I should tell you that the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity the Lord says, I should tell you that he's going to wipe away your tears. That's all I hear. The Lord says, I should tell you that you have cried many cries, but that in this season, he's going to wipe away your tears. Does this make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, according to the power of your word, by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
that you wiped away her tears you have migraine or somebody around your family i see somebody i'm seeing um yes signs of my you upon your head you'll be healed right now 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 not later right now in the name of jesus i pray by the power of the spirit of god be set free be set free be set free in the name of jesus christ healed from migraine now i command every genotype ss hear me inside and outside if you are ss if you are ss right now I change your genotype to A A A A A A if you have a problem with your heart come out quickly inside and outside either a hole in your heart or something pertaining your heart please run out quickly let's hurry up so we can conserve time a heart condition a confirmed heart condition please come out Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, you are holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Blessed is He who comes in the name of our God. I'm going to pray that the Lord will give you a brand new heart. I'm not praying for healing. You're not going to be healed. A creative miracle. Just believe it, whether you understand what I'm saying or not. Are you listening to me? As my hands come upon you, I'm going to be releasing the power of God. The power of God. Now, a brand new heart upon you. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart. A brand new heart. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand by the power of the Holy Ghost, a brand new heart in the name of Jesus Christ. A brand new heart. Where's Maria? Maria Adese. Where's she? Maria. For the Lord says that He will wipe your tears and cause you to laugh. Because of the testimony of your commitment in his house. Hey, that's what the Lord says I should tell you. For I will wipe your tears and I will cause laughter. That laughter will gush out like springs of living water. My God, let this grace come 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are, your name is Miriam. Why are you here? For a heart condition. Okay, lay your hands. You not only have a heart condition. I see that there's something wrong. I don't know whether it's your back or something. That's what I'm seeing. Am I right? Okay, I'll pray for you now. Look at me. Just hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command every bent bone around your back to be straightened. Let it grow back to complete shape. Now the power of God is coming upon your back. I command in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every malfunctioning of your body be gone now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please, can that lady, I hope someone can help me identify her. The lady is standing almost directly under that fan. She's holding her hands like this. A lady with dark, you, looking at me, come. Yes, you. The Lord is healing all kinds of things. No, this, the one at the back, come. But you who is going back, come. You're going to be a great leader. And the Lord is going to commit great wealth into your hands. That's what God is saying, I should tell you. He's going to commit great wealth into your hands. But that it be used for his kingdom. That it be used for his glory. The Lord loves you and he wants to use you for his glory. You must give him full expression. He must find full expression you love him so much but i hear cares 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 you're laden by many cares and the lord really wants you to give him or hold my hands if you will lord i pray ah the strong manifestation of the spirit you will never be the same from tonight fire on you now in the name of the lord jesus christ you will never be the same again in the name of the lord jesus Never be the same again in the name of the Lord Jesus. There is a strange oil of God's favor that is bringing upon your life from tonight. It's a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. A strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. A strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord. The lady sitting come very quickly before. Please, as you're standing in this atmosphere, I'd like you to know that God is meeting your needs. Are you listening to me? God is meeting your needs. This lady, that lady with you, come. Yes. Look at me. Hold my hands. You may not even know how much you have been oppressed by Satan, but I command victory for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command victory. Great victory. Great victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will make you a very influential person for his kingdom. He will give you a word upon your mouth. You may not look like it right now. But the Lord says he's going to do this. He will give you access to kings. And he will grant you grace. One of the things that you will have in your life is courage and boldness. Courage as bold as a lion. The Lord is going to give you great boldness. Hold my hands if you will. Lord, I pray that this great grace and courage will come upon her, even by the power of the Holy Spirit, that she will do unusual and supernatural things even for the kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, unusual, supernatural things for the kingdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Aaron, the Lord is stepping you into 
a strange level of blessings a strange level of blessings you have served the kingdom and you have served many the lord says i will now cause men to serve you i will cause men to serve you hold my hands lord i pray that this grace and this oil this great anointing will come upon him that he will serve many in the name of the lord jesus onu come the exact same word god is saying to aaron that's what he's saying to you that because you have served many he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you in the name of the lord jesus christ he will cause many to serve you please be alert as we minister if you have not written your prayer request please write them very quickly thank you jesus i like your heart just to be tuned to the lord as we minister there's such an unusual prophetic anointing in this place that god wants to reach out to people please the lady that apostle just ministered to with the yellow shirt come and the next person by you come the other lady with the green shirt come the both of you thank you spirit of god thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus god says you're going to carry my message of love to many people i see an experience that you had last year towards the last quarter of last year that brought hurt and condemnation to you is an experience that i cannot talk about but you know it right you know what i'm talking about god says he healed that wound today jesus says he loves you and he brings healing to that wound and you carry his message of love to many people god bless you i hear god says i'm stepping into your family i'm bringing a message and i'm bringing restoration that's your word i hear god says god says he's bringing a restoration and a healing to a relationship between your mom and one of your elder sisters look at me omar am i talking god says he's healing a challenge that your sister and your mom has been experiencing in their relationship i mean one-on-one -on -one, there have been some bridges that have been, they have experienced in their relationship and god says because there has not been oneness and unity it has hindered your family god says he's healing that wound tonight and your sister will be restored back to your mom and god says it will be a new season of restoration even financially for your family in the name of the lord jesus christ abigail please come is Sanet here please come so that we can just save time please come as i'm calling as the lord is showing me as i'm calling you just come just come just come abigail the lord gave me abigail aren't you abigail please come the lord shows me i see a scene that had happened before that the lord shows me and in this scene i saw your father standing somewhere in a particular land and i could see cassava growing in that land i don't know but it looked to me like somewhere in the southwest part of this country is that where you came from from where okay and and i saw that there was a dispute a challenge about this land and i saw that certain course certain enchantment were released please keep playing were released over your father and your family to bring hurt to bring hurt and to cause misfortune for your family and even death that's what i hear the lord says where is your father right now nothing is working out nothing is working out nothing is working out that cause from that land god says he will heal it god says he break that yoke of the enemy but are you aware of a challenge a dispute that has to do with the land It was something that their father left for all of them. Yes, and he left it for them. But there was a curse that they spoke over his life. And that's what is responsible with you know with the misfortune that your family is experiencing that now that nothing is working for that. I declare that there shall be no death. I reverse that curse of the wicked one. And I declare that the prosperity of God comes to your family. God says he brings healing to your body and perfection. Perfection 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 to your body in the name of jesus christ i see the lord touching your body i see a challenge that had been that had always caused constant health challenge for you something connected to your blood 
that affects your bone and bring weakness to you around your joint and your bone region am i talking god says he's going to step in today and bring total healing receive it now receive the healing power of god the anointing is already on you receive it be free your blood and your bone and all your joints is healed this night in the name of jesus christ what's your name abigail just stand the lord is not giving me a word for you yet grace the lord says i should tell you that he's going to intervene in your academics i see god says he's going to raise someone in your department that will fight your cause and god says you will celebrate and sing songs of joy in the name of jesus christ watch out he's a man and that man is not a believer that's what i hear the lord says sandra god shows me that a ticket is coming not for you but for your elder sister she's going to travel out of the country god says that demonic barrier is lifted tonight do you understand and god says the challenge that has kept her that she has not gone before now is lifted tonight god says there's going to be a speedy victory that shall come and your family shall celebrate in the name of jesus christ Daddy, I love you so much. Please just be on your feet. God speaks to me to, for you and your husband. I see a certain challenge and demonic attack that the enemy intends to bring to you, particularly in this season of birth. Are you getting what I'm saying? And the Lord is showing me that this challenge is something that your mom experienced around the season of your birth. You may need to go and ask your mom in case you don't know such a demonic attack that came to her during the time of your birth and you even experience it in the early years of your life am i talking to you god says that attack shall not rest upon you the plans of the enemy is to snuff and take away your child but god says it shall not hold and we shall love when your son comes in the name of jesus and god says for me to tell you god says this is a season of financial breakthrough watch it within now and the next three months you see unusual favor and doors that god will begin to open people that have never given to you before watch out and see what the lord will do and my dear brother jakes god says there's nothing that is impossible god says he will answer the prayer of your mom God says shortly he will cause her to rejoice. And I even hear the Lord says, as I answer this prayer, there shall be celebration and I shall cause the bell of wedding to ring in your family. I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about your sister. For you it is sure, but I'm talking about your sister. Father, thank you. Olorum Bumi or Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. If I'm talking to you, please just come. Olorum Bumi, Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. Are you here? Just come quickly, quickly. Okay, please come. I, 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 I looked at you, and, I, and the Lord shows me your father's text. And God shows me that there's a project, like a research work that he's embarking upon. And God says, this work is going to bring honor to him. God says, this work is going to cause him to stand before many great people. And God says, I'm doing a work and I'm bringing health to his body. Health to his body. You know the challenge that your father has been going through. I've never met your father. I've never been to your house. But God says, he's bringing perfection to his health. And this project that I see him working on on his table will bring honor to him. God will use this work to set him before many great men. Go and tell him health healing perfection comes to his body in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus the lord says trust me and i will lead you god says for you to trust him and he will lead you god says don't trust in your understanding he said you have trust in your understanding before now but this is the time that i want you to begin to trust me god says if you will trust me to come up that, out of that relationship I'll bring rest and peace to you. And God says, I forgive your sister. Tell her that guilt shall no longer hold her hand bound. Tell her that the snare is broken. And tell her that she shall celebrate her wedding soon. 
in the name of Jesus. God bless you. So take the news to her. Is is Sanet here? Is anybody by the name Naomi? Naomi. Let me talk about it Naomi so that if you are the one you come out. This Naomi that the Lord shows me. I see your elder brother who has been running from pillar to post seeking for job. And God simply asked me to tell you that he's releasing that job. And as he released that job, he's going to bring blessing to the family. He's going to be of great help and blessing to the family. If I'm talking about you, just lift up your hands. Where is he now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you, if you have any challenge, I see God healing people with challenge around their legs. I'm seeing bone condition. Or any part of your body you have challenge, maybe from an accident, bone condition. I see God healing that. Quickly, please just come. So we'll pray for you. Bone condition, I see God healing that. I see God healing bone condition. Lord, I pray for her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Is anyone in your family who has been crying to the Lord for a child? Yes. Who is the person? My sister-in-law. Your elder sister? Sister-in-law. Because I see the Lord says there shall be Amen. the birth of a child. Amen. I see God says he's bringing a child. Amen. For that yoke is broken. Amen. That yoke is broken. Amen. I will declare that the child is born. We declare that within now the next one year the lord gives you a testimony amen in the name of the lord amen. jesus christ amen. the people with the bone condition i want you to just touch that part just touch that part where you're having a bone condition just touch there we may not have the time to take all your testimonies but just touch the bone condition please means i just want us to lay hands on them just quickly lord in the name of jesus i declare your need healed heal heal command that bone condition be healed in the name of jesus christ i declare you heal heal let that bone be healed right now in the name of jesus let that bone condition be healed right now in the name of jesus let the bone condition be healed right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus right now be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus if we have laid hands on you please just go back to your seat and check yourself because of time restraint we may not need to take all the testimonies for all of you but we declare you healed you came in with any bone condition touch the place come on healing healing right now in the name of jesus be healed be healed in the name of jesus christ you're healed check it let me take your testimony check it that's every time the bone condition is actually once in a while. It's not every time. I have problems with my nails sometimes. But do you experience it now? No, I don't. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. You have arthritis. I see the Lord heals somebody with arthritis. Where? The gentleman who is going back to his seat with a bone condition. Come. Come. perfect in the name of jesus you are totally healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ so do what you couldn't do before let's take your testimony do what you couldn't do before hallelujah do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before Thank you. your healing is perfected in the name of jesus Amen. your healing is perfected in the name of jesus christ You have arthritis come i see the lord heal somebody with arthritis i see the symptoms somewhere around your hand and your leg where you where is that person come quickly arthritis come and be healed thank you father thank you father thank you father mommy you're the one with arthritis are you feeling the pain now yeah 
with the chest so if you are healed now you will know yes in the name of jesus i curse you spirit of arthritis i release healing 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 in the name of jesus i curse the symptoms go go in the name of jesus you are healed you can check yourself quickly do what you couldn't do before you are healed in the name of jesus i like you to watch something this guy's leg can you see that one leg is shorter than the other if we can have the camera here so the, that this will not be stage managed nobody will lie and say just come can you see it from the side i need you to see it can you see it everybody just look are you seeing it yeah you see that one is shorter now watch this in the name of the lord jesus i command you to grow watch it from your screen watch it grow wow watch it grow. in the name of the lord jesus <laughs> you're feeling a pulling on your leg look at it growing perfect look at this oh That pain needs to go. Your, the problem is usually from the spine. And so it causes the leg to be a few inches lower than the normal one. Now try what you couldn't do before if you can shake your legs as hard. Do you feel any pain there? You feel any pain? No, I don't. I don't feel any Complete it. perfection. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you coming out? For what? arthritis on the knee lord we release healing arthritis you are cursed in the name of jesus be healed be healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ check it and do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before do it again do it again do you still feel the pain you are totally healed amen in the name of jesus christ go back you okay you're the one with the hand in the name of jesus christ i release healing into this hand now 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 i cause you arthritis go in the name of jesus be healed let this hand be healed amen. in jesus name amen do what you couldn't do before check it do what you couldn't do with it before Hallelujah. come 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 do it, do it. Okay, tell us. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? No, no. You are totally healed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Go back. I just need you to speak the word. My dad has been going through this condition. For the Lord, she stands for her dad. Let the dad receive the anointing right now. We cause arthritis. We release healing now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I stand for Basio Kun. Lord, we release healing to pass your cone wherever he is right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sanet is not here. The Lord shows me something. Sanet is not here. Thank you, Jesus. You came out. Lord, we cause arthritis from our mom's body. And even her grandmother will release healing right now. We cause arthritis. Go! In the name of Jesus, you're here. All right, while this is going on, please ushers begin to collect the prayer requests. Lord, we cause bring out your prayer requests inside right and outside. Now, right now, in the please name let's do of that Jesus quickly. Christ. It's Gideon here. Gideon, you are either in agri engineering or agri science, but I'm hearing the name Gideon in agri. If you are here, come. For what? lord bless her bless her bless her bless her in the name of jesus bless her and lord concerning marriage answer the prayers of her heart right now answer the prayers of her heart in the name of jesus okay just quickly not a testimony it's a prayer for my prayer for my okay i cause this pain go in the name of jesus i release healing now be healed in the name of Jesus, do what you couldn't do quickly. I'm healed. Say it. 
I'm very healed. I'm healed. healed in Jesus' name. Gideon, please kneel down. Let's pray for you quickly. God says there's a ministry that He's birthing inside of you. God says that you shall have an assignment of bringing deliverance unto the captives. God says deliverance shall come to them that are bound even through your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask, let there be a release. Let there be an activation of that ministry inside of him. And let that anointing begin to overflow. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Please, if you need papers, ushers have papers. Thank you, Jesus. And you, God has a word for you. I see God doing some things around your mom that pertains to healing in her body. Do you understand? God is bringing healing to her body. I don't know where she is at the moment, but that's why I see perfection. Perfection to her body. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is now quite here, please. If you are here, just come quickly. Or oh, is your mom here? Is your mom here? Is mommy here? Please, so we can work with time. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Please, let me give them to minister. So we can conserve our time. Hallelujah. Um, Ruben, okay, I saw God giving you um, another dimension of word of knowledge. I see that function in your life. God just showed me that. Hallelujah. Quickly pray for some sick cases now. God showed me. Quickly come out, please, as I mentioned you. I saw um, we praying for cancer patients, okay? If you have people that had cancer or have cancer, please just quickly come out. You're understanding for them. I saw that. You can just line up here. Praise God. Then if you're having um, pains at your back, back ache here, please come. We'll quickly pray with you. Then, people with pains in their right ear. I think there's somebody here with pain right ear. Then I saw another person. Your neck is actually your neck. You actually, I think you had a problem carrying a load or something. That's where you got an injury, just your neck. The three major vertebrae here. Please just quickly come out. Please, sir, just help me. Please just help me. Hallelujah. Jumi Tosin. God will do some amazing things to you guys in your worship life. I saw, I saw you guys with Ruben, just the three of you. Okay? God will be doing new things for you in the place of worship. Hallelujah. I'll just quickly pray with these people. Just quickly come as they pray with you. Please just go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Come on, Hallelujah. I wait to I wait to come. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me, the Lord showed me. A vision concerning your father stand here as I was sitting there the Lord showed me a vision concerning your father and I see a major promotion is going to come to your father and I see the Lord bringing honor into the life of your father and the Lord said he's going to put your sorry I'm saying something don't mind me he's going to do something very tremendous to your father he's going to give granting honor Put your hands. Father, thank you, Lord. Father, pray the Lord God. Let it be released for her father in the name of Jesus. My brother there, I see an unusual healing anointing upon you. Come. I see the Lord reason an unusual healing anointing. I actually saw you leaning down, praying. Praying on your, on your bed. Telling the Lord that, come. I actually saw the Lord, I saw a vision as I was talking just now. 
I saw you kneeling down praying on your bed and asking the Lord that you want him to use want him to use you greatly. And I see him releasing an unusual healing anointing upon you. Father, I pray that let the anointing intensify in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing upon him. Let your anointing, let your anointing, Lord God, be so real and tangible. I'm so interested about a lady, a young person that came trusting the Lord for, for fruit of the womb in my right, my left hand side. Trusting the Lord outside there in the overflow for a fair. I saw if you are, you are here. Come, I just saw a vision, somebody on my left. And I see the Lord giving you two boys. Hope you heard me. I see the Lord giving you two boys. I see an unusual anointing of God. I saw you making a prayer to God that if the Lord gives you children, you're going to give them back to the Lord. You, ma you made that prayer. Yes, sir. The Lord said He's going to release an anointing upon them and He's going Amen. to use them greatly. Amen. Put your hands in my right hand. Father, thank you, Jesus. I pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, there is somebody that came in here. I saw a young guy in between the age of 13, in between the age of 13, 16, having a terrible demonic attack with a bone. I see a, a young guy, a young guy in between the age of, in between the age of 13, I see a demonic oppression upon you. If you know your head, come out here. If you know your head, your brother, in between the age of 12, 15, 16. Come. I see, I see a, a, a chain. It was a chain I saw. And we, you find it difficult to sleep? Yeah, sometimes you struggle to sleep and you find a lot of... Put your, let me, Father, I will come against every demonic attack of, over his life in the name of Jesus. I come against every demonic attack. I speak freedom upon his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, that, that is uh, a lady outside that has a, a problem with a stomach problem with the lower abdomen. Something, it pains around here. If you know you are, you are the one, just come and let me pray for you. It's very chronic pain at your lower abdomen here. If you know you are here, come out. Somebody with a very chronic pain outside in the overflow. Somebody in the overflow. In the overflow. Anyone there? Yeah. Come in. Come. Come in. I saw her. That's the very lady I saw. I saw a lady with a very chronic like a five or I don't know just come and hold my hand I will just declare a word excuse me man of God lay your hands lay your hands on them Father I command every familiar spirit to come out in the name of go And also I saw a young lady that came into the meeting with a young guy, a boyfriend of us. Amen. I saw a young lady sitting in the overflow with a young guy, a boyfriend of us that came in. They just came in together. The Lord is asking me to warn you to stop engaging, I mean involving yourself in what you've been. I see young guy, a young guy, a young lady sitting in the overflow. The Lord is instructing me to really warn you warn you to stop what you have been involved and that is giving you a chance to change and to repent from doing what you've been doing amen hallelujah hey jimmy hey jimmy I see God. Please, let's just quickly. There was a song that was playing. That was, oh, you, you sang it before Yahweh. Please just sing that song. 
when this meeting started i saw god give me a burden for people in the overflow people in the overflow please listen i see god there are some ladies here you were incantations or initiations were done for you by other ladies people in the overflow listen that's the song just be playing i see a lady you are very small in stature you are wearing a wine dress you were initiated all the ladies that have been initiated in this place by another lady into the occultic just come out the power of god is going to bring you out or you come out god wants to set you free for some of you is your secondary school days please come if anybody ever initiated you into anything please come in the overflow father i command that power of darkness to be broken in the name of jesus in the name of jesus if you were ever taken to a, an occultist or something please come out Father, honor your word in this place. For some of you, because of what happened, at night you have sexual intercourse, usually with strange ladies. I'm seeing such people such people in topele de bokosa in palada bokosa tabaya ipere de 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 bosha hallelujah for some of you it was your parents that took you there don't be ashamed jesus christ of nazareth is setting you free please come out come out come out then i heard the name i was hearing the name graham douglas there is a lady in this place your father is extremely wealthy extremely wealthy he travels a lot he travels a lot i don't know if you're from the south south i think there is an in your name or something and i see god wanting to touch your father through you i think your father is either military or something he's either top military but he travels a lot if you're that person please come out please come out i see another lady you have phobia for cockroaches if you're in the same room with a cockroach you must fall ill once you see it i don't mean the usual fear you break out in sweats if you are that person please come out god wants to heal you right here and right now right here and right now you fall sick very ill please come out i see a pc something is wrong with your mother you can sing something is wrong with your mother she's dead reading. please come out right here. let's have the prayer requests please ushers very very quickly now we're entering a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment in this meeting let's have the prayer requests very quickly a very prophetic moment prophetic moment please bring out if you've not written your request don't waste this opportunity God has given us an instruction inside and outside please send your requests hallelujah can can you turn it here is it possible please turn the requests 
are going to be praying on this request whatever it is that you laid as a request i like you to know that the end of it hear me the end of it comes whatever it is Everybody rise up on your feet inside and outside. I like to invite all the servants of God. Please, the ministers of the gospel, can we come as we pray on this request? Hallelujah. Now, listen, as we pray on this request, miracles, listen to me, please. Instant miracles, instant miracles will begin to flow both to you and to your loved ones are you listening to me as we please come up let's let's come quickly as we lay our hands in faith instant miracles please call that lady that lady is not done god is not done with her yet there are all kinds of demonic manifestations she's been initiated into all kinds of things you want to pray for her as we pray everyone join us and pray by faith all over this building inside and outside lord in the name of jesus we release miracles instant healings instant deliverances instant miracles instant breakthroughs by the spirit by the spirit everything we declare listen now is the time for your life to change don't take it for granted you stayed here long now is the time for you to receive by faith to receive by faith i command wisdom and understanding receive it in the name of jesus a baptism of wisdom and understanding shall release it amen take it in the name of jesus amen. take it in the name of jesus amen take it in the name of jesus a baptism of wisdom and understanding let that fire come upon you let the 
fire come upon you a baptism of wisdom leadership anointing Receive it. 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 Favor with God, Shaka. Favor with men, Amen. Favor with God, Amen. Receive it, Amen. The anointing for supernatural, inexplainable favor, Amen. Lift up your hands, everybody. Receive it, Amen. Take it, take it, Amen. Take it, Amen. Inside and outside, take it, Amen. Favor anointing, take it Amen. by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it, take it. The favor anointing, favor anointing. Hey, Shakata. Hey, Kapato Saka. Hey, Shatala Bakosa. Mari Kato. Hallelujah. All those in debt, in debt, financial debt, both for you and for your family. If there's any family here that is in financial debt, Everyone here who has suffered delay, any kind hey. of delay, hey. don't care what it is in relationship, in marriage, in your academy, hey. in ministry, in business. If God be God, if God be God, I command speed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speed. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has held you back, there are many of you. You are moving, but you are not making progress. For yourself, for your family. Tonight, enough is enough. I prophesy that spirit that came upon Elijah that made him to run. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in your finances. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy to your academics. I want to prophesy. I don't care. to know what your CGPA is. I don't want to know how many carryovers you have. That's none of my business. I don't want to know who likes you or who does not like you. This night, right now, I command, begin to soar. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Prophesy distinction. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Some of you read. You are not lazy. You do your best. You have tried to explain to people. They can't understand. 
every time you want to read you find out that there's something holding you back tonight as surely as my father lives every mental blockage everything called dull let it die tonight in the name of jesus receive a super intelligent mind i prophesy a super intelligent mind conquer all your difficult causes conquer it conquer it go back as a victor hallelujah i want to pray for your finances the error of begging and living from hand to mouth begging begging for everything many of you have left the lord because of financial challenges in the name that is above every name don't tell me about your father's job has nothing to do with your job don't tell me you are not working the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper take it take it take it take it the power to prosper take it inside and outside take it the power to prosper prosperity in business prosperity in ministry receive it in the name of jesus there are many of us hear me who have suffered with habits habits all kinds of ungodly habits you have done the best you have cried you have fasted you have prayed lift up your hands right now every habit that does not represent the life of the kingdom i command it out of you now out of you now out of you now out of you now out of you right now hallelujah every spirit of fear timidity and discouragement this is what has stopped many people although you are praying in tongues fear timidity discouragement tonight right now i take authority over it let it live your life forever in the name of jesus i command multiply in the name of jesus be fruitful in the name of jesus subdue in the name of jesus every one of you here tonight is stepping into a new level of the anointing of the spirit receive it a new level of the anointing the operation the miracle working power receive it from tonight your words become powerful everyone you bless is blessed in the name of jesus i speak over you every spirit of death every spirit of failure whether by accident whether by the sword right now let it be lifted from your life forever in the name of jesus no more death no more death hallelujah i command every dying dream every dying vision every dying idea books to write songs to write organizations god has been speaking i command every dry bone share the word of the lord arise 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 let your dreams come alive let your visions come alive
Alléluia. Alléluia. Everyone in your family who is looking for a job or marriage or a building project. That's what God is saying. These three things. Job, marriage, a building project. Right now, by the power of the Spirit, I command that you receive it for your loved ones. Supernatural marriages. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Jobs for your loved ones. Receive it. Jobs without interview. Jobs without interview. Receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that has made you cry, I don't care what it is. Everything that you came here with that has brought tears from your eyes, as surely as the Lord lives, you walk out of this ground a free man, a free woman. No more tears. I prophesy no more tears by the word of God I create for you a future with laughter 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 fresh passion for the word of God fresh passion for the word of God receive it fresh passion for the word of God let the spirit of prayer fall grace to pray like a general grace to pray the spirit of prayer the spirit of intercession <laughs> lastly I prophesy the Lord tells me, release the anointing for signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are not necessarily miracles. And Lord, according to your word, signs, wonders, at the count of three, this one will fall heavy. This one will fall heavy. One, Two, three, receive it. Signs, wonders, signs, wonders. Become a sign, become a wonder, become a sign, become a wonder, become a sign. Accomplish more than your capacity. Accomplish more than your capacity. Hallelujah. All of you who are lecturers, if there's any lecturer in this place, because you came tonight, I command, that's what the Lord is telling me to declare, that the believer lecturers, that came tonight I command a grace that will distinguish you for honor you can receive it for your parents receive it in the name of Jesus no more weakness no more frustration no more begging you are the head and not the tail you are above you are not beneath Arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine. Hallelujah. So that when you leave this place tonight, you will know that you did not waste your time. Many of you will go back and step into a fearful order of operation in this life see the bible says 
there are some beings that are celestial there are others that are terrestrial every man is not the same there is a plane that others walk in they walk like spirits they talk like spirits they are not bounded to the limitations of this realm many of you will go back and suddenly receive calls that things are shaking changing changing in your family uncles that have forgotten you will call you and send millions to your account i'm not motivating you i am prophesying to you where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty now listen to me the bible says for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one the greatest miracle that can happen in this place is for you to come back to the kingdom there are many of us who have not made a personal commitment to love god and to begin to live by his principles you're not born again every time you hear the things of god there are many of us that frown at it now this is very important everybody listen the spirit of god is in this place you've never made a decision for jesus christ or you have made a decision just carelessly and you've left the things of god there is love in this place and there is a big welcome i'm not asking you to think about it I'm not asking you to pray inside and outside right now leave your seat and run and come and give your heart to the Lord do that quickly you want to make a decision you're saying enough is enough please leave your seat inside and outside the Lord is calling you right now leave your seat and come the Holy Spirit is speaking to you you need to make your ways right I don't care if you're a pastor, you're a bishop. Appreciate them as they come, inside and outside. The Holy Ghost is calling you. It's a new beginning. Keep clapping, motivate them. Appreciate them, inside and outside. The Bible says, in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Now it's a new beginning. Those of you outside, the Lord is calling you. Do not reject his call. You have seen his power. You have seen his grace. Appreciate them. We will wait for you. Appreciate them. Satan, you will not hold anyone bound. Appreciate them. They are still coming. The Lord is still speaking. Those outside, don't let your friend hold you back. It's a new season. Keep clapping as they come. Keep clapping as they come. Don't be tired. hallelujah if you are still inside or outside while i'm speaking you can still come hallelujah now look at me for those of you standing i'd like you to know that we love you you're making the greatest decision that you have ever made in this life are you listening to me the greatest decision to make jesus lord of your life not just to become a christian but to become a citizen of the kingdom this is the secret of victory this is the secret to a life of glory no matter what you have done men may condemn you but let me tell you there is love for you here i don't care what you have done nobody condemns you are you listening to me now all of you standing in front lift your hands as you pray this prayer after me say after me dear lord jesus it's not a special number say it out of revelation dear lord jesus i love you and i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for my sins and this night i make a decision to love you to live for you and to serve you i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare according to the word of god that i am born again 
Holy Spirit, come and find a home in me. Teach me the laws of the kingdom and make me relevant in the kingdom. From today, I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm genuinely born again. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones. They have expressed their desire and their love for you and for your kingdom. For as many who will come, Lord, you will in no wise cast away. I pray that that preserving grace will rest upon them. That grace that preserves men and keep them. Everything that you have, that has held you bound, you are walking out of it as you go back in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are free. Your sins are forgiven you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at me. This is the greatest decision that you have made. Never forget this day. Are you listening to me? Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They're going to have details of your information and will follow you up adequately and pray with you. This is the best decision. I love you and I congratulate you in Jesus' name. Please. I Lord, I made it. Hallelujah, I made it. By the Spirit of God. Bless His name. Give Him thanks. The Bible says it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. To declare His praises in the morning. Father, we thank You. Kabala kurasa tabala namanda braseka paliya katabala dabasa pradegedebele deboshi. Bless him in the spirit. Bless him with understanding. For the dead cannot praise your name. We shabak the Lord. He is faithful in our midst. The Lord in the midst of his people. Mighty in 2013. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Psalm 8. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is to be praised. O Lord our God. How excellent is thy name in all the earth. Who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength. Because of thy enemies thou, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers. The moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. What is man? that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest him for thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim and crowned him with glory and honor thou made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands and thou hast put all things under his feet all sheep and oxen yeah the beast of the field the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name. I'd like us together in the next five minutes. I don't know how you are going to thank God for this year. But say, Lord, I know you are faithful. Bless him in the spirit. I don't know how you are going to bless him in the next five minutes. I magnify You are worthy King of glory You are faithful You are faithful From the rising of the sun To the going down of the same Let the name of the Lord be exalted Upon the mountains, in the valley, 
and in the congregation of God's people let the name of Yeshua be exalted I give you praise awesome God majestic your word has been tried and found to be true you are not a man that you should lie nor the son of man that you should repent for you search for one who was greater than you to swear by and not finding any man you swore by yourself that in these two things it is impossible for God to lie the oath and the promise who is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that thou visitest him you have made him a little lower than yourself and crowned him with glory and virtue and honor you have set him over the works of your head say Lord I thank you for my life if the Lord had not been on our side now may Israel say if the Lord had not been on our side for the performance of your word for the testimonies thank you you flew in the air and he preserved you you drove across the streets that killed others and he preserved you this is our first meeting for the year the year of supernatural exploit or in Hiring manifestations of the spirit that will cause the tongue of men to cleave to their teeth. Indeed, we make our boast all day long, for thou art worthy. The Lord in the midst of us is mighty. thanks unto the Lord and to sing his praises for the dead cannot praise God and the grave cannot exalt his majesty hallelujah Lord we give you praise as a family of believers together with the family in heaven Lord we say thank you for the grace and the privilege to be gathered here once again, we thank you. Thank you for preserving the life of everyone. Thank you for preserving our families. You are indeed faithful. Thank you for gathering us once again by your spirit to bless us, to refire our spirits for the year. And Lord, we thank you. This is Koinonia your spirit is alive and strong in our midst and Lord we say thank you hallelujah praise the Lord happy new year it's good to see everyone hug everyone you can find around you tell him I told you you will make it I told you you will make it Pray tongues for nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Be seated in Jesus' name. God bless you. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Sing it from your heart. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord for the last time. 
There is a place where silver can be found. We know that iron comes from the ground. But he said there is a part which no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lions have not gotten there. He said men have even learned to cut through rocks and mine minerals. But he said the place of wisdom, where can we find it? We are unable to find the place of wisdom. We went to the sea and he said it's not in our midst. Even the grave said we do not know where it is found. And he said it is found in the presence of the Lord. Lord we thank you for wisdom. For through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established. Through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing. We thank you for your wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. It's good to have everyone around. Praise God. Just pray in one minute and say, Lord, I'm ready to receive your word. Please pray. I'm ready to receive your word. Let it change me. Pray from your heart. I've prayed my life out over the prophetic word this year. I believe it. It came from the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 the prophet speaking said I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower and I will see what the Lord will say he didn't just say I will hear he said I will see what the Lord will say and he said unto me write the vision verse 2 make it plain in other words let it be understood by everyone that they will run who receive it he said for the vision is for an appointed time he said it will yet speak though it tarries and so this is the principle of leadership that god gives every christian leadership that we raise the vision that god gives and to make it plain because you cannot run if you do not understand he said all thy getting get understanding hallelujah it's our culture to begin our first service every year by revealing to us the prophetic word that the Lord has given and to explain so that we can understand. Let me tell you, this year is a beautiful year. Believe me. Believe me. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, that which I tell you in the secret place, declare thou upon the mountain tops that which you hear in the secret hallelujah for the secret place is where his shadow is he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty say i will say of the lord he is my rock my strength my fortress hallelujah and the Lord has declared by his spirit that this is our year of supernatural exploits hmm. do you believe it I believe it the Bible says they heard the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not be mixed with faith and so I said blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance blessed is she that believes he said blessed is he who has spoken who will also perform jeremiah 1 verse 12 he said i am alert and active 
watching over my word to perform it he said my covenant will i not break nor alter the word that has proceeded from my mouth except the covenant of the day and of the night is broken he said i will not alter the word that has gone forth And so the integrity of God is behind his word. And then we can trust that word. Say after me, I believe. Say this is the year that I'm a believer. Many of you hear words and you just say, wow, nice words. It's our job to always find out what God is doing in the world. And then to find out what he's doing in the continent of Africa. And of Nigeria and to find out what he wants to do in our lives hallelujah different ministries different churches different denominations groups have corporate words that God has given them hallelujah and it's our job to bring words that will guide us in prophecy hallelujah he said the Lord will do nothing but reveal his secret to his servants, the prophets. Amos 3 verse 9. So let's look at Daniel 11. That it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all. Hallelujah. Are you there? And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. He said, but the people who do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. The people who know their God they shall be strong and as a result they will do exploits said so let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength but let him that glory at glory in this that he knoweth and understandeth God the treasure of the believer is the knowledge of God and he said in this season for they that know their God they shall be strong strong by the spirit and as a result they shall do exploits hallelujah the Lord gave us this word and began to communicate unto us the things that we would expect and I'll be sharing very briefly I'll be sharing some of them our focus we believe in vision and the Bible says, without vision, the people cast off restraint. Hallelujah. Vision brings order. Vision brings focus. Vision helps you to align with the Holy Ghost. Vision lets you know what God is not doing. Vision lets you know the emphasis of God for every season. So that you do not find yourself relating in the old wine. Because when the, the apostles were filled with the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 2, they that stood outside said these men have taken new wine not an old wine hallelujah the thing about god is that at every level he reveals something fresh and new hallelujah and so we thank god for the things you'll be doing this year it's a season of supernatural exploits what do we expect this year? I'll tell us the things God has shown me. Hallelujah. The chaos will continue in the world. For it is not taking believers unawares. The darkness will be more. The economic meltdown will not stop. I said it in 2007. And I said another one was coming. It has begun. The Lord will break the pride of wicked men. 
Aleluya. The Lord showed me a lot of catastrophe and chaos. Especially within the European nations. I still saw hurricanes. Plots of terrorism. And the death of major leaders. Hallelujah. But then as much as this is happening. There will be. An emergence of glory such as never seen especially around the Asian nations there will be such a global awakening sweeping across Asia Singapore and China the Lord showed me will carry a degree and dimension of fire the first time I saw this vision was in 2005 I saw little Chinese children remember I shared it 2005 and the Lord told me this is the year when it will manifest there will be an emergence an outpouring of the Holy Ghost sweeping across nation Asia there will be supernatural encounters among Arab nations Jesus himself will appear in dramatic he will appear in places of worship appear to families without an individual leading them to Christ their encounter will be solid and real this will happen in rapid succession. Hallelujah. The economy of Africa will rise in this year in a very dramatic way. And three countries the Lord showed me will pioneer this. One, Nigeria. Two, South Africa. Three, Ghana. These three nations will come in with a level. Their GDP will so increase. Ideas and insight will come. Are you listening, please? So what do we expect in Nigeria? Hallelujah. I saw a flaming sword. There will be many deaths this year. God will judge wicked men in dramatic ways in this nation. Hallelujah. Many people will be dethroned by the Spirit. It will start from the month of March. This I saw. Hallelujah. It will start in the month of March. I want us to pray for the presidency. We will pray. Because there is an arrow of death plaguing the presidency. From the president to those around the cabinet. Hallelujah. Mysterious sicknesses, mysterious diseases will engulf politicians in a way that will make them afraid. Many will be disappointed as a result of all the covenants they have made. It will fail woefully. Hallelujah. In 2010, in 2011, I saw the death of a presidential figure. I was there in a vision. Hallelujah. I was there. I saw it. And I just prayed and the Lord told me it is for an appointed time. And last year I was in a vision. I was in a military place and I stood there and the next thing I saw soldiers taking their ammunition and I saw them running around and I did not understand what was happening and later on I opened a room and I saw military men on their knees lifting their hands and worshiping God and they said the death of a figure that has represented terrorism I will not mention name for security reasons, but I saw his obituary on the newspaper. Hallelujah. And there will be breakthrough even in the areas of medicine. This will happen globally. 
the Lord showed me breakthroughs in the areas of medicine. Hallelujah. Many things will happen in this nation from the month of March. You know what? You know what Dr. Lukoya calls power must change hands. There will be a switching of many things. Mark it. Mark it. God will do things that will confuse people. But in it, he will be glorified. What of the church of God? God is going to humble the proud in, the ch in his church and his body this year in very dramatic ways. There are three kinds of error the Lord seeks to correct in the church. Number one, the manifestation of witches and wizards who have carried suits and paraded themselves. For God will expose wicked men. Hallelujah. Number two, God is going to come in in his mercy to rescue people whose wine has been mixed with water. There are genuine men who have been called of God, but they could not wait through the trying period and they began to dapple their genuine task for God with acts of witchcraft to complement on their anointing. Are you listening to me? So there are people who are genuinely called. God called them. God anointed them. They have a track record of seeking God. But because they were looking for crowd and fame and money and they could not wait. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. And many of them could not wait. And as a result, they began to mix their anointing with wine. I see the Lord stretching his hand of mercy. And then one of the things that God is going to be doing again is to help the third category. Young men who got up with zeal pursuing God without direction. And many hands have been laid upon them. They are carrying spirits that look like God, but they are not of God. They are seeing visions. They are walking in power. They are moving in miracles. But even them, they are doubting the source of that anointing. God is going to help many of them. And he will do it by bringing the word of truth and fire to purge his house. This the Lord showed me will happen in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. There will be massive evangelism in this country like never before. So winning. And God will use the tools of the miraculous. An outpouring of miracles, signs, wonders, even by the Spirit of God. Do you believe this? Hallelujah. So what does God have for us? There will be massive betrayal of people in politics. People will betray themselves. Many people will betray themselves. You will see it on papers. You will see it around. Many people will betray themselves. But the counsel of the Lord will stand in this nation. In a very surprising way, the economy of Nigeria will rise this year in a way that will shock many people. Write it. The economy of this country will rise in a dramatic way. A dramatic way. A dramatic way. Hallelujah. One of the things that the Lord showed me is I saw many families, many believers taken to a stream. Remember the book of Gideon that he took an army to a stream. And I saw many people fetching water but they were not washing, they were not drinking it, they were washing their faces. I saw tears that were dried and many people were washing, washing away their tears. This is what God will do for many families this year. Honestly speaking, believe me, 
I wrote these things in detail so that I will communicate it the way the Lord. Hallelujah. And for us as a family of faith, what is God going to be doing? Number one, this year through us, there will be a harvest of souls in this place. Dramatic harvest of souls. Massive salvation. And it will happen through the manifestation of strange and awe-inspiring miracles. I'm telling you this now so that you will believe. Number two, there will be a mighty manifestation of the miraculous. If you think you've seen the miraculous last year, you've not seen anything. You will see miracles that will cause your tongue to cleave to your teeth. Hallelujah. Number three, there will be a manifestation of great wealth and prosperity. For many people, it's going to be a shock. I know we all know we'll be blessed. But you will see prosperity that will make you afraid. Do you believe this? And the Lord told me this will happen for three reasons. Number one, for our comfort. Number two, establishment this is a year of establishment for many people you will be established and number three for kingdom activities and the weapon god will use is favor and wisdom favor and wisdom this will be the tools that god will i'm trying to give you specifics so that you don't live here confused at all favor And wisdom are you writing please number four there will be a display of the manifold wisdom of God this year the manifold wisdom multifaceted wisdom of God in our midst through us through you Every time I say us, I'm not talking about myself or the ministers, through you. The Bible says that it be known to the principalities and powers, the multifaceted wisdom. Number five, the Lord told me he will put a crown of honor upon the heads of many people. A crown of honor. A crown of honor. A crown of honor. When the Lord told me this, I received it with tears in my eyes. Many of you have not experienced what it means for God to honor a man. And King Ahasuerus told Mordecai, he said, come, there is something I have prepared for you to do. A man who was sitting by the gates. And the Bible says it was Haman who designed the package for the honor of Mordecai. And Mordecai was put on a chariot and made to go around the city. Listen. There are some things that are bigger than money. Honor is one of them. Are you listening to me? Job said, in the days of my youth, when the secrets of the Lord was upon my tabernacle, he said, I washed my feet with butter. The ancients spoke about me close to the gates. He said, the young men saw me and they bowed their head. That's called honor. There is a way God will put a mantle of honor upon a man. There is an atmosphere, a carriage of grace and glory that you carry is beyond your age this is not about money this is not just about anointing that you become a subject of discussion and people say what has the lord has done mighty things for them he said when the lord shall turn again the captivity of zion we will be like them that dream and even the hidden will testify and say the Lord has done great things for us. The Lord will put a crown of honor upon the heads of many people. Many people. You will be distinguished. You cannot even explain it. Anywhere you go. You eat in a restaurant. Somebody says I want to pay for you. This one is not just favor. It's honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You come late and someone say, I've kept a seat for you. Honor. 
why does God honor us to give us influence so that we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom these are the things that the Lord will be doing in our midst this year and so our focus as a ministry this year will be to number one to engage in massive salvation of sinners I'm telling you what we will be doing as a family of faith we won't do anything outside this we'll concentrate on soul winning like never before this year and every one of us inside and outside hearing me you must be a part of this massive soul winning we will bring a harvest a harvest of people the lord told me something he said son if you will give me souls i will give you the miraculous like you have never seen i said god if that is the deal no problem he said if you will give me souls you will see the miraculous let me tell you something the miraculous only answers to evangelism because the purpose of miracles is to bring many to the fold so any man any ministry that is actively engaged in the miraculous without soul winning their source of anointing is questionable hallelujah massive salvation of souls by the grace of god every one friday will give an opportunity for people to get born again not just the miracle service every friday beginning from today and any other special program at all number two we'll continue with building and equipping the saints as we've always done keep building people equipping the saints number three healing the sick setting the captives free and releasing breakthroughs to lives and families not only through our miracle services but i trust that every service this year will be a miracle service indeed hallelujah number four this year we will open financial doors to god's people to bring about comfort to bring about establishment and to provide an opportunity to sow into kingdom advancement how many of you believe the things i'm sharing god will do it now what is the key here listen every time god tells you that this is what he wants to do he will show you the key hallelujah and the lord told me the key is the presence of god the presence of god the presence of god he says moses speaking said we will not leave here if your presence will not go with us he said for how shall they know that we are a separate people the mystery of his divine presence he says and god walking with them confirming the word god walking with them god walking with them this year i want you to walk in the consciousness that god is with you i've been saying this thing all through when god gave me this word god is with me I'm not alone can I have someone here God walking so Sam is not walking alone God walking worship team as you're ministering be conscious of his divine presence God as I can explain the keyboard God walking with you as we are ministering the word God walking with us listen when god walks with a man even if they don't respect you they will respect the one who is walking with you and god walking with them and god the mystery of his divine presence the presence of god manifested in the person of the holy spirit that's why from the sms i sent to us i said it will be done by the hand of god the hand of god is not some mystery the hand of god is the operation of the spirit of power he said if i cast out devils through the finger of god and the bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power acts 10 38 and he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil why for god was with him koinonia will do exploits this year because god is with us we will do things that men say cannot be done 
impossible salvations dramatic testimonies by the spirit of god increase and expansion financial breakthroughs change transformation every department moving in power everyone growing in grace having a testimony for yourself and being a manifestation of that testimony being a sign and a wonder because god is with us god is with us his manifested presence when god walks with a man that man becomes a sign and a wonder i'm telling you this is the secret of koinonia god is not just for us but god is working with us this year you must covet the presence of god are you getting what i'm saying we are not magicians it won't just happen by magic god are you listening to me this is the difference between magicians god will be working with us so that any time there are manifestations of the spirit we will let people know that the greater one works with us david Yongicho wrote a book called the holy spirit my senior partner i've been walking in the consciousness that god is with me he said yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me say god is with me say he is walking with me although i want you to just imagine that as you're moving he's with you in class he's with you on your job he's with you he's with you when someone looks at you and says you will not become anything he says it's too late god is with me the presence of god made a dry rod to produce leaves the the rod of aaron budded because he was kept in an atmosphere the shoe bread was kept in the act of the covenant and it did not decay the bible says god walked with them as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night and their clothes grew with them the soles of their feet i mean the shoes that they wore did not wear out because god was with them and when they called balaam to go and curse them he said i cannot curse them because the shout of the king is in the midst of the people hallelujah god walking with you say god is walking with me you will see a man but the result will be bigger than the man god walking with a man god walking with a man as young as you are some of you you will do exploits that will shock your family members they will say where did you get this wisdom they that know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits do you believe this that you become a generational blessing you become a portrait of a blessed man this is what god is going to do this year so you are not only moving you are carrying his divine presence you are going with him you step into the room you are stepping with his presence everywhere you go this is what makes you a blessing you are not just a blessing because you are confessing you are a blessing because the blessed one walks with you granting you grace granting you the manifestation of his spirit you will watch yourself walk in all inspiring wonders because god is with you hallelujah god bless you so these are the things that god will be doing in our midst and this has been my prayer i've begun to pray it for my life and for everyone hallelujah we hope to achieve this through our teachings in koinonia who we'll have dramatic and dynamic teachings by the grace of god it's our job to cut across every area of the christian experience ministry spiritual growth finance family life leadership the miraculous the ministry of the holy spirit vision purpose you just name it 
it's our job to make sure that believers grow in a balanced manner hallelujah number two is our joy to let you know that this year we'll begin our school of ministry hallelujah you've not had an experience of training is our job this year to pour ourselves to raise and train firebrand ministers hallelujah we're going to have lecturers from different churches different denominations hallelujah touching on topics and areas that god has engraced them hallelujah so for those of you who have been called this is an opportunity it's going to be a great one i tell you we have a lot of ministers we're going to have practicals for the students where we'll take you to mission fields it's not just about um, um i'm called i'm called i'm this and that all those things no you believe you're anointed we we'll test it with a demon in the village hallelujah it's going to be a great time we'll teach principles of ministry and help many people to balance the error that is killing a lot of people whether you are a pastor pope reverend whatever you are you are invited be having our school of ministry hallelujah our anchor scripture for that is taken from second timothy 2 verse 2 can someone read it for us please very quickly so we pray we're going to teach our students on spiritual growth principles of ministry the anointing church planting evangelism family life character ministry ethics the kingdom god's agenda pneumatology eschatology management and leadership hallelujah it's a program that will run for four months weekend classes second timothy 2 verse 2 anybody please okay second timothy 2 2 and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also he said the things which you have heard of me among many witnesses he said commit it listen the proof that a leader is successful is that you can reproduce yourself in many people gone are the days of that one man show in the church are you listening to me gone are the days of that one man the man of power the man of anointing he's the only one the king of kings and the lord of lords and then we have the beggarly no 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 true leadership the only way to multiply your success is to moses said i desire that my spirit will fall upon them if the only thing we have to say is that there's a group of anointed men and women ah joshua selman or oh, pastor jakes or bishop stan we are failures hallelujah the ability to have men and women who have been raised to carry the fire and the grace of god to multiply the things that god is doing in the lives of others so this is wonderful so koinonia number one number two is our school of ministry hallelujah and by the grace of god bishop stan will be directing our school of ministry come on appreciate him he's going to be your principal you better clap it's a real school we're going to graduate our students don't you think it's some um, roadside you should know us by now we are excellent people when we are not ready for a thing we don't do it so don't you think it's just some class where you no 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 the way you know is cool with examinations assessments we have a lot of prof in our midst thank god who will help us more on that will come number three missions and evangelism we will do a lot of missions and evangelism hallelujah by the grace of god we plan to visit almost all the secondary schools in this city 
hallelujah who visit them work with their fcs and have some time of impartation we are not the ones that will go it's now your turn to go hallelujah yes we're going to send some of you i tell you don't think we're going to do some no 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 you will now have the opportunity to test the word the bible says after jesus had taught them for a while he sent the 70. he said now you go two by two go in my name when you go do not just fly around go to the lordship of israel that's why we're not sending you to kaduna go to the lordship of israel the bible says the people came rejoicing just like many of you come back rejoicing say can you imagine even the demons were subject to us through thy name and the bible says he rejoiced in his spirit he said i saw satan fall like lightning many of us i believe this year will shed tears of joy because of what god will do through your own hands so this is a participatory thing are you listening to me you will be part of it many of you have always been praying your friends have told you let's go and start our church jared this koinonia thing when they give us an opportunity to shine you will shine and be tired this year <laughs> hallelujah yes we hope to visit secondary schools and um we have a mission our focus will be in giwa areas of giwa and shika hallelujah jakes had started a work there and by god's grace will do a lot you have the opportunity we'll expose all of you to practical ministry hallelujah you minister to the sick whether the people get healed or not you will struggle with them there when it doesn't work you come back and then we will now examine hallelujah praise the lord this is how believers are supposed to grow praise god and this year we we'll also raise new leaders for the house of koinonia praise god aren't you happy you want us to die we won't die jethro advised moses he said moses this this thing you are doing it will kill you he said set leaders over thousands and over hundreds and over fifties and moses took the advice of jethro his father-in-law and that's how he was able to lead two point something million people because they were angry people who he had to settle cases from morning till night hallelujah are you happy about what god is doing and it's my joy to announce to us that we're going to have a convention this year hallelujah oh it's going to be a powerful one it will shake this city in and out it's tag eagle summit 2013 hallelujah all our members all our people partners everywhere within outside the country it's going to be four days of a reign of glory hallelujah we're going to invite ministers i'm telling you it's not the last time we had a program like this was kingdom wealth summit we don't just have programs as a ritual god reveals to us so from 2010 god had not told us anything many of you just had the stories hallelujah so it's going to be an exciting time hallelujah an exciting time all of you will join one committee or the other you must do something you are not the ones who will be sitting and warming benches hallelujah praise the lord it's going to be a powerful time we'll announce the dates a convergence of everyone that has been blessed through our lives and ministry all the campuses around the nation all the churches ministers pastors that god has used us to be a blessing some of the people that god is blessing around the nations ghana south africa and so on and so forth will come together and build ourselves and receive of the lord so it's an exciting year hallelujah praise the lord And so this is a summary of what our focus for this year the things that we're going to be doing so everybody you will be a part of it hallelujah say i'll be a part of it see this is the year you must make up your mind that there's no room for lukewarm christianity and say wow koinonia is no 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 use the opportunity to build yourself did you know that most of the people who are strong today most great believers that you see around us today were people who had the opportunity to participate in soul winning when you don't participate you don't know whether you are growing or not hallelujah i remember when we were a lot fewer than this 
when we went to Pangshin Crusade. It wasn't like miracle service that you just have a few ministers. No. We just said, every sick person, if you are healed, come and line up. And then our team that we brought from Zaria, we said, all right, everybody just go and stand close to someone. And you don't choose. You just go and stand. Your only prayer is that you stand close to somebody who is not crippled or mad or something. Hallelujah. I'll never forget Ejimi. He stood near one elderly woman. And the woman said, her hand is swollen pain over her body. Ah. Ejimi said, well, I'll pray for you. And when he prayed for the woman, he wasn't even expecting a healing. Suddenly the woman turned and began to shout. She said I was healed. He thought it was a lie. You know how Ejimi is very... He said, this is not true. Now I said, the sick people come so that you get healed. Many of you will try it by force. This your you would do it. Say I will do it. Hallelujah. Send some of you to the schools around, and many of you are the ones who will be teaching. When they say we have in our midst a great woman of God, Bishara. Everybody just clap. And say hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me this morning. Come on, give Jesus a big, big shout. hallelujah I want everyone to be part of what God is doing especially the blessings that he has said he will give us hallelujah we just have three prayer points this night number one is to say Lord we pray for your divine presence like never before your divine presence hold on I'm just telling you the prayer points first hallelujah and secondly you say Lord this is my year of supernatural exploits i will do exploits for the kingdom in every area of my life i must have a testimony i'm tired of clapping for people here hallelujah and number three you are going to pray and say lord i extend this word to my family it won't just be me alone every member of my family will be a part of this if they are not born again this is their year to be born again hallelujah praise the lord by the grace of god bishop jakes will be directing our missions hallelujah come on appreciate him our missions and evangelism so he's the one who will do everything carry the students it's going to be an exciting year in all sincerity make sure that someone comes to know the lord jesus christ through your hands make sure listen i'm putting this evangelism thing in your mind because many of us let me ask you a question when was the last time and some of you did it ever happen at all that somebody got born again through you you come every week and you see people inside and outside did you know that someone hallelujah someone brought them to the lord jesus christ many of you come here and you weep and you say i remember what my life was hallelujah this is not the year to be ashamed are you listening to me this is not the year to be lukewarm he said you are neither hot nor cold and i will spew you out of your my mouth this is the time to go for it if you mind the things of God and seek heavenly things, God will, all your needs are things that are not, they are not so, they are not a big issue. You just commit your heart. I'm telling you, this is the secret of receiving from God. This is why it looks like God has zoomed his light on some people because their hearts are determined to pant after God. This is not the year of saying, Lord, me, my thing, my... No. Concentrate on the advancement of the kingdom. There are hundred level students scattered around. Many of you have seen them. You just pass them and say, hi. Say, hi, hundred level students. Anytime you... Listen. Anytime you see someone who is not born again, the first thing is to initiate a conversation. The rule is love, not condemnation. Don't look at people and tell them, see how you are looking and you think you'll go to heaven. That's not how to get people born again. Love. So I expect that. It's not, it's not just a week. 
Many of you wait till we say, okay, this is our week of evangelism. And then you feel zealous and say, I must. No, 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 no. Get someone born again. Seriously born again. Because there are all kinds of born again. We'll be teaching it here. Genuinely born again. The type that will last. Follow them up. Give them an opportunity to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Make sure you do something for the kingdom. This is a year that you will sow into the kingdom like never before. This is the year you will evangelize like never before. This is the year you will not watch the sick pass you and say, I am not Joshua. No! Authority has been given unto you. This is the year you will say in the name of Jesus, that devil. This is the year you will arise and say it's my year of exploits. You call your loved ones and say in the name of Jesus, you are experiencing the power and the grace of God this year. Exploits in every area. That God will give you rest round about. But also that you will be busy doing the works of the kingdom. So this is the kingdom year. Are you listening to me? This is not the year when God do for me. Do this for me. No. What can I do for God? Which department can I be part of this year? Hallelujah. What training? This is the year that you will do everything for the kingdom. There is no man, listen to me. The Bible says, but seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness. He said, and all other things shall be added unto you. Marriage, relationship, CGPA, prosperity, grace, influence many of you are leaders in your departments and your faculties this is the year you will extend that mandate and that grace this is not about koinonia are you listening to me has nothing to do with koinonia has nothing to do with eni we're not the kind of ministry that say our ministry we are the this we are no 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 kingdom kingdom you will take the word of god to your departments for the students Take the word of God. Some of you are in politics like the gentleman who came. It's not the time to say, ah, it's my season to chop while I watch others. It's your season to prove that a believer can walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity, even handling a political office. Hallelujah. This is the year to say no to sin. This is the year to get serious with God. This is the year to cancel some friendships and some relationships. Are you listening to me? To turn and tell your uncle, I've learned to trust God. I will do exploits this year. I won't give my body to you for school fees or anything. This is the year to make up your mind. Are you listening to me? This is the year to kick out all the rubbish songs and all the godless things from your phone. There's nothing like one leg in here, one leg out. No, no. This is the year you will stop struggling with God. It's the year you say, Lord, I give up all for you. This is the year you will be a fanatic for the kingdom. There's no hiding it. There's no issue of saying, oh, me, this, their thing is too extreme. No. Jesus said, listen, he said, if you deny me in the presence of men, if you deny me in the presence of men, he said, I will deny you in the presence of my father. It's the year to lift up his banner and say, Lord, we believe you. I'm a Christian everywhere. I'm a child of God, not just a religious person. I'm a fiery believer. I love God. It's the year to allow the character of the kingdom to manifest. It's the year to use all the blessings of the Lord to serve the king and his kingdom. It's the year to do exploits in your academics. Are you hearing me, students? It's the year to break barriers. Forget about all those rubbish testimonies. You've been hearing them. And if you are a new student in this place, I set you free from all the reports you have had. Are you listening to me? It's the year that you can make five points. I tell you, it's the year you can break barriers. What do you think exploit is? It's the year you will move with a magnetic brain. The Holy Ghost walking with you. You will do supernatural things. You are in final year. This is the year like Samson. You will push with the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you, this is the year you will jump from that class. You will jump right even into 2-1. You will scare people. 
they say this is a lie you say no it's exploits we call it exploit you make a name not by talking he said let her walks speak for her at the gates make up your mind every area god is going to bless you not just your spiritual life it's the year that you walk in abundance you have enough to bless people you are the one who will buy a bag of rice and share it to people during exams they say you who begged last session you say have you not known have you not heard the everlasting god the king the one who can pick a man from a dunk hill and lift him up I trust God that the testimonies that we hear this year is not that Joshua Selman prayed for me or Jake's that we hear that one sister prayed listen our pride is not just to say oh is the man of God we are failures if that's all the testimony it's time for us to hear that it was through your hands are you listening to me that the media sent a post and HIV got healed exploits by the spirit that your room in the hostel becomes the place of deliverance the place of blessings that every time people come whenever they are thirsty they know they will find life they will find help exploits in your hostels i'm telling you students take over abu it's yours the anointing is upon you shake your faculty shake your department shake everywhere not by making noise exploits by the spirit your lecturer cannot come because they say something is wrong with him you go to his office and say sir can i pray with you the lord walking with you the lord walking with you you're going in power the lord walking with you and you say in the name of jesus the one who i serve and the one whose i am i command that devil to leave you hallelujah that this year you will be the counselor now you will be the counselor that many people will run to you and hear the counsel of the lord this is what ministry is about it's not about having titles and parading sons I'm telling you, it's a season of exploit. Many of you will write books this year. You will be surprised. You thought you could not do it. The hand of God will come. Certain visions that have died, suddenly, like dry bones, it will quicken you in the night and you will speak. Say, write books on faith. Break barriers. Many of you, they thought you are the worst student in your class. But you will watch people run to your room and say, teach me, I cannot understand. For he has given me the tongue of the learned. Let me tell you something. Many of you will shock people. I'm not just motivating you. I'm prophesying unto you. Because it will happen. It's by the Spirit of God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Walk in this consciousness. I'm a minister. Has nothing to do with pastor. Has nothing to do with apostle. I carry fire. I carry the life of God. If you are the president of a faculty, say we will shake it. No nonsense in our faculty. No keeping students behind. We will shake it by the power of the Holy Ghost. The best result will come from believers. The best result, I tell you, the best result in your orals the best result your mbbs medical students shake the campus this is the year listen when a faculty listen listen this is the year when a faculty will buy those beans and write it and go and tell the dean of the faculty that we are tired of death in this faculty listen well it's not just about praying in tongues we are training you to become agents of transformation you cannot do such a thing in your faculty and not be a voice are you listening to me stop thinking about yourself begin to take the influence of the kingdom it's time for believers one of my goals this year is to steer a fire upon the campus not by that name joshua selman we want to silence our name and let your name be the one that will be high it's 
Say I can do it. The power of the Holy Ghost is upon me. I'm not ordinary. Prophesy I'm not ordinary. His hand is upon me. His hand is upon me. Say it, His hand is upon me. The power of the Holy Ghost. His hand is upon me. His hand is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I'm taking the influence of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen. This is the year that some of you will influence Facebook. You will take your Facebook account and turn it into a ministry and a wonder. Many of you will take your Twitter. Listen, you must participate. It's a season of exploits. Hallelujah. Many of you will gain scholarships. They say don't apply. Who told you? Go and apply. Go and apply. Who said you won't get it? Don't let. See, this is the year to refuse any report that is not consistent with God's word. You have been living upon the news of people. Break barriers. Say my village does not matter. I cannot speak English. But the Holy Ghost is upon me. No inferiority this year. No complex this year. Refuse it. Refuse it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen. Yes. You can buy exercise books this year. And this, see, we are talking about the influence. Taking the influence to the social strata. Are you listening to me? Some of you will produce tracts and send it. You must take kingdom responsibility. You have been trained. Many of you, as you are this year, you will be paying somebody's school fees. I'm telling you, you will be sending money home as you are. I prophesy, you may not see the wind. You don't know how it will happen. But the Lord has declared, exploits is supernatural by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. One man, Paul, shook the entire span of Asia Minor. Let me tell you something. As a ministry, we are going to shake this land to its foundation this year. I tell you, I tell you, we will shake this land to its foundation. I don't see limits in my life. See, I want to, Paul said, let, I mean, he said, let this mind be in you. There is a mindset you must kick out this year. Many of you, when you come for Koinonia, you see others jumping and receiving. I say, what are they doing? Let me tell you what they are doing. They are taking the word of God, making it their own, and partnering with the Holy Ghost. Say, Lord, yes, it can be done. Some of you will buy properties this year, lands, and even begin to put structures. I tell you, that it's a time of establishment. Take the limits of God. Take the limit of God. Who told you God cannot do this? Many of you will run businesses this year that will shock people. I'm telling you this. By the spirit, an idea God will give you. In your sleep, in your dream, you will see it. You will feed your family. You will never beg any man born of a woman for money. Because God is with you. Hallelujah. There are many of you in this place. This is the year you answer a question your uncles asked you some years ago. They say, when will you surprise us? And you could not answer that question. Today, from today, I prophesy that this year, you will answer it not by talking, but by doing exploits. I prophesy it upon your life. Exploits. Mateka parikata. Exploits. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This is what God is doing. And our job tonight is to stir us up. Hallelujah. There are many of you, they've spoken to you. 
Nobody enters a relationship in your family. Nobody gets married. Well, this is the year you present your fiancé to all those devilish principalities and powers. Believe it all. our messages will go far across campuses across ministries across churches it will cause a revival it will reverberate it will shake evil see what you see happening tonight is the spirit of revival many of you don't know what a revival looks like when God finds a man who can agree with him that's why he said is anything too hard the two is to find the man that can say lord i believe and tonight we are believers in this place we believe him there are many of you because of the blessings that god will bless you if they employ your parents and pay them three hundred thousand, it will be an insult because of the blessings that you will be sending home There are many of you here you are not the firstborn but grace will take you to that status you will have a voice in your family you will have a voice the lord will give you a voice in the name of the lord jesus many of you will run with the spirit of elijah you will walk on water this year i'm telling you you will walk on water you have been delayed especially for spillover students hear me it's your time to walk on water you will not graduate alone you will come out with blessings that will prove to men that even in the valley god was with you you will silence the mouth of wicked people in the name of jesus i tell you listen listen i speak to the spillover students i bring you a prophetic word they should rejoice not over you any enemy because god is not true with you when he's done one step in destiny you will cover up you will overtake you will pursue exploit are you listening to me listen 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 i'm speaking specifically to spillover students this is not the year to just chicken out and no 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 this is the season to know that like samson that he brought you you will push with a strength you will not only push academics you will push in the area of marriage destiny forget about all those people that preach devilish messages making you feel condemned you need to rise to a higher spiritual plane and see what god is doing in the lives of people there are some of you who didn't stay back because it's not because you are lazy in the future you will know that's why the bible said judge not the operation of the spirit in the life of a man is strange there are certain people because of the weight of destiny they carry am i speaking to someone faculty president encourage your all the spillover students let no believer condemn anybody here are you listening to me This is the year when you mind your business and move forward and shut your big mouth over other people's issues it's the year when you mind your business and advance the kingdom this is the year when pray for me pray for me must diminish in your life because the spirit of prayer must mantle you this year are you listening to me stop begging for exploits you are not a baby anymore you will arise and say satan let me tell you something i will not become a baby forever at every challenge you chicken out no this is the year to stand it's only hell that has gates the church does not have gates he said i will build my church and the gates of hell the church does not have gates we are limitless hallelujah and i want you to enjoy prosperity this year it's a year for prosperity prosperity gives you focus prosperity helps you to serve the lord hallelujah say it's my year to prosper 
Oh yes, God will give you favor and wisdom by the power of the Holy Ghost. That when we say there's something to do, you will be the one rushing with seats and say, God bless me, I can't be ungrateful. Hallelujah. Say this year I become a nation. See, something must happen to someone through your hands this year. Are you listening to me? People can't keep blessing you. You are coming for koinonia every time. No. Someone's life. So begin to think like a leader. Say, I am a leader. Inside and outside. Say, I am a leader. Say it again. I am a leader. Say, it's my year of responsibility. Yes. Stop being the child. Stop being the baby. You will grow up by the spirit and begin to affect the life of others. The exploit is not one person doing exploits. It's a team of people. Worship team, this is your season of exploit. The Lord showed me you will do mighty things upon this altar. I want you to believe. You will do mighty things. I saw it in multiple visions. Mighty things by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will have this year market. You will have recorded miracles as you worship. You will see it happen. Many people will come and testify that as the worship team were worshiping suddenly. I'm not talking of headache. I'm talking of major sicknesses. Because God is walking with us. God is walking with us. God is walking with us. So you must be a part of what God is doing for your life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray now? First prayer point. Say, Lord, all these blessings will start from my life. If you are not blessed, you can't bless others. Say, Lord, this year, exploit. I become an evidence. An evidence. Paul says, we are written epistles. Lift your voice and pray. Come on, pray. I am an epistle of supernatural exploits. In 2013, prophesy all the area of exploits. Exploits in my finances. Exploits in my health. Pray. Exploits in the miraculous. Exploits in evangelism. I am a blessing. I am a blessing. Like Father Abraham. I am a blessing. I will not be a burden to anyone in 2013. I will not be a burden in the name of Jesus. Pray. Say, Lord, I'm the first partaker of prosperity, of grace, of power, of wisdom, of grace. Say, Lord, I will prosper. I walk in power. Someone will be healed through my hands. Someone will be saved through me. A family will be blessed. Hallelujah. 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 The second prayer point is for students. Listen. I prayed and I said, Lord, no matter how much exploits is done, let there be academic exploits. That's the next prayer point. Hold on. Hold on. Listen. Listen. When I'm talking about ex exploits, I'm not just talking of doing well. Making a mark. And A in a cause that in the last 10 years nobody got. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, exploit. Pray. Exploit. Exploit. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Exploit. Every student pray. I am not called. I refuse that 
report. I am not told. I don't care how many carryovers you have. I don't care what your academic story is. Say, Lord, I will rise again. There is hope for a tree. Though it be cut off, I will rise again. I will rise. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, I will rise by the Spirit. Prophesy. Save my year of five points. Five points. Four points. Leaping of CGPS, leaping, leaping, leaping. Hallelujah! 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 Listen, how many of us want exploits in your academics? You are going to mention all your courses one by one if you can remember them. Are you listening to me? And you're going to say, I speak to you. I don't care what the story has come with the lecturer. I like you to speak and say no carryover this year. Open your mouth and speak. Every course, mention it one by one. It has a name. Someone has graduated from your department. Lift up your voice and pray. Say I challenge you in this season. Your projects, your practicals, Exploits, exploits, faculty of arts, exploits, faculty of environmental sciences, exploits, faculty of engineering, exploits, faculty of medicine, exploits, in the name of Jesus, faculty of education, all the faculties, exploits, master students, PhD students, exploits. Your work is the best. Your project is the best. They are calling you from abroad. They are calling you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I invoke it by the Spirit. They are calling you. Your work will not die in that department. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Listen. So, students, no laziness this year. Are you listening to me? No reading for your exams. Two days the exams. Many of you have come late. Go and catch up now. Are you listening to me? Form groups. Do your tutorials. Don't sleep until you have done all your assignments. Are you listening to me? We will force you to excel in your academics this year. Because when you excel in your academics, you will silence the mouth of wicked people in your faculty. This is not the year of hiding handouts and doing all these stupid, ungodly things. If you are here and you are involved, this is the year of your deliverance. You share materials with people. This is the year you will vow and say no malpractice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So begin to read. Whatever you don't understand, break your pride and humble yourself. There are many intelligent people in this place. There are many first class students. Listen, this is the year. Humble yourself. Say, I receive humility. God has blessed us with all calibers of people here. Hallelujah. Go and meet someone. Set exams for yourself. Don't read what you know and mark it and say I read. It's not those that read that pass. It's those that understand. Are you listening to me? In your room, have discussions. There are lots of MSc students in this place for undergraduates. Don't sit back there. Say I'm breaking forth. Say it. Go and get your hand out. No buying any with one until you've bought your hand out. Hallelujah. And you settle down. Listen, listen. This is the year you will streamline excessive and unprofitable programs. Are you listening to me? Because that's what is killing some of you. Everything you are running and going, everything you are running and going, you are moving, and this is the year I will settle down. 
Say it. This is when some of you need to sit down. Many of you are students. You are sleeping 12 hours. As if you just gave birth. It's the year when you cast away slumber and the spirit of procrastination. Let me tell you, nobody emerges great with laziness. Not in ministry, not in any area. You must stay awake and burn your candles honorably. Are you listening to me? It's the year that if you see somebody being unserious, you don't just say, I'm minding my business. No way. Go and meet the person. Hallelujah. I see you excelling. There's a spirit that has been transferred to you. You will run with it. Many of you, your real glory will shine. You will see it. Hallelujah. Before you come for Koinonia, you do your assignment. You don't just get up and be running around. Final year students. Now is not the time to be involved in everything. Running from pillar to post. I don't know your house. Where in Sabo do you live? Go back and sit down. Because the kind of exploits God wants to do in this house will surprise many people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Get materials. Pray. Take time out to pray. Have your group with your little classmates and pray. Don't be in a group of three or four and you are lazy and the rest are serious and say they are leaving me. Why won't they leave you? Why won't they leave you? They are reading. You are doing night call with your boyfriend. Off that phone and sit down and read your book. This is the year when you are decisive. Say, hi, he's calling me. If I don't pick now, he won't pick later. Does he know you are a student? Praise the Lord. I've come again, Abby. It wasn't the plan. The plan was to be nice today. But I want you to excel. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Last prayer point, your family. Listen, how many of you want your families to send their testimonies that God is alive? I showed you a scripture in Job. Where for your sake, God can even cover for unbelievers. Because some of our family members are not born again. And where they are today is a product of their mistake. But you are going to pray. Say, Lord, let them be covered in this wave of supernatural exploits. Lift your voice and pray. From the village. From their homes. Pray. Say, Lord, bless them. Bless them a kind of blessing that will settle every divorce threat. Bring a kind of blessing that will settle problems and disputes between loved ones. Lord, remember my family. Change their stories. Pray in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, change their stories. I pray for my family. I took out time to pray for them. Say, Lord, help them to walk in righteousness. As you bless me, oh God, bless them. As you lift me, lift them. As you promote me, promote them. Pray for your family. Say, Lord, remember my father. Remember my mother. Remember my sisters and my brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we are establishing a standing rule in this place. Listen. Nobody will force you boys for your own good. Every one of you must pray for at least one hour every day. Are you listening to me? Don't say we don't have a place to pray. You must find, find a way. Everybody, are you agreeing? It's for your spiritual development. At least one hour. Preferably early in the morning 
and late at night. The sincere truth is, well, one hour so that at least everybody can start from somewhere. Hallelujah. Let the spirit of prayerlessness die. You must pray. Wake up in the morning and pray. Just play worship. If you are disrupting your roommates, put your earphones. If you cannot, come out. Hallelujah. Please write these things. One hour at least, you must pray every day. Number two, at least once every month, you must separate a whole day and stay alone with God. Write it. Once every month, I'm teaching you the secret of power. Once every month. You can't be too busy. No. I do it every week. Once. When you stay with God, you will become news. But when you are gallivanting around men, you will soon fade. Once a month. Choose any time once a month. And stay with God. Hallelujah. You can fast. You can take light food. What do you do those times? Number one, examining your spiritual life. That's not the time to say more power. It's the time to say, Lord, is there lost in me? Am I beginning to like women because you are lifting me? Am I beginning to like money? Am I beginning to be tempted into pornography or anything? This is the year you must flog it out consistently with destiny. Hallelujah. Once a month, you must do it. For those of you who are groups, you try to do it as a group. You will attract the presence of God. And when the presence of God is with you, every other thing will be alright. Hallelujah. Praise God. So periodic retreats, stay that wait upon the Lord. Don't be too busy. You can't be too busy for God and your destiny. As you draw back, you will see that you need to study more. You will see that you have been neglecting some goals that you have set. Number three, during retreats, set goals. Set goals. Financial goals. Marital goals. Academic goals. Structural goals. Especially for the guys. This is the year you will stop being a child and become a man. Hallelujah. You must set goals. Sit down in destiny. Where is my life going? I can't be escorting other people. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. But now that I'm a man, I lay aside these childish things. It's the year when many of you will come to yourself and say enough of childishness. So you must set goals and follow them up. Give your goals deadline. Many of you may need to go back and do it today. What is your goal for January? What is your goal for this year? Spiritual goals, what do you want to achieve? Financial goals, what do you want to achieve? Marital goals, what do you want to achieve? Without vision, the people perish. Hallelujah. Praise God. How many of you believe this is a great year? Start with this fire and sustain the fire. Don't start in January and by February or March. Uh -uh. The Bible says it shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water. You are hot January down to December. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands as I speak over your life. We're rounding up. I declare that personally you will be a testimony of supernatural exploits i command exploits in your academics exploits on your job exploits in your marital life in the name of jesus exploits in your spiritual life exploits in your finances these hands that are lifted will work miracles this year in the name of jesus exploits to every department in this ministry exploits in the life of the ministers Exploits of power, exploits of wisdom, exploits of grace, exploits of honor. The Lord will restore this year. The Lord will wipe your tears this year. The Lord will lift you this year. 
the Lord will exalt you this year. He will cause your heart to be lifted in the name of the Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.